So it's Sunday morning, going to do a race today, We're doing the Staplehurst 10 mile end of year race. Um, it's only my second 10 mile race I've ever done, quite looking forward to it. Um, not really sure what the course is going to be like, never been to this area before, it's pretty damp and foggy outside, but that's alright, it's not bad running conditions to be fair, should keep me quite cool. With today's race I'm just going to, I'd like to try and get a PB obviously, because I always do in a race, but I'm not really holding out much hope for that. I did a 10 mile a few weeks ago, I've done it in just over one hour, 20 minutes, like on a circuit in the Velo Park over at Stratford. Um, 10 laps of one course, a totally different thing to what today's is. This is a 10 mile sort of round loop. Pacing wise today, I really want to try and get every kilometre under five minute kilometres, um, which keeps it under eight minutes per mile. So I should be looking at about a one hour, 20 finish, providing it's a fairly flat course. Driving here this morning, there's some quite big hills coming in. so. If it's hilly, obviously the, the pace will adjust to suit the hills, but I think we'll be all right today. It should be a good race. Today's course is going to be a bit more slippery underfoot by the looks of the pavements and that. I've just been up to the race HQ, registered, paid my money and got my race number. So I've got my timing chip there. Strap that round my ankle. And we're race number 337 today. Um, well, I was number 37 by the looks of it, but somebody's been a bit permanent marker happy. That's all good though, um, looking forward to it, it should be a good race, um, racing with a couple of friends today from A to B runners, be good to catch up with them guys. With my diabetes today, at the moment I've not done anything at all with it, I'm rocking along 8.3 and flat which is perfect, so I'd like it to stay there right the way through the race but it's highly unlikely. In a minute I'll be turning my pump down, turning the basal background insulin right the way down to just 10% like normal. Um, with a race, I really don't want diabetes getting in my way today, so I'm going to do everything I can to make sure I don't go low. I'll be doing my normal, taking my camel pack with me, my hydration drink in there, making sure I stay hydrated throughout the race. Fingers crossed that um, my CGM stays playing ball. Before the race today, literally 10, 20 minutes before I start, I'll be eating that. It's about 20 grams of carbs, I think it is. So a quick look. Tell a lie, it's just 15 grams of carbs, which that's fine. 15 grams of carbs, 20 minutes before I start running. That won't even hit my blood sugars by the time the race starts. So hopefully the sort of adrenaline of the race and stuff will raise me a bit. It does generally. We'll just see how that goes. Right, so it's about an hour and 10 minutes now till the race starts. So time to turn my background insulin down on my pump. Uh, we've probably seen this before, that's my insulin pump, we just go along, quite tricky doing this back to front in the camera, but we go along with basal, select that, silly screen unlock thing, go down to a preset temporary basal, high activity, just 10% of my normal background insulin, you can see there my current rate is 1.45 units of insulin per hour, so we whack that on. So my new rate there will be 0.125 units for a while and then my insulin needs change after that down to 0.075 units, so that's what I'm after, begin that, well that's it, we're done, temporary basal started, so my background insulin is now turned down, um, blood sugars right now, hour before the race, eight and flat, so we're having a, a gradual slow down or drop down there, nothing too major. Eight, I'm still quite happy with to be fair. Um, I'll keep an eye on that though because that is dropping. That's gone down 0.3 there in about 10 minutes. So if it carries on doing that for the next hour, I'm going to be quite a bit lower, sort of around the fives when I start. That's too low to be starting a race on for me. I need to be on sixes, sevens, eights at the most. Right, it's just half hour now till the race starts. Um, Blood sugar's now 6.4 and dropping, so time to do something about that. We'll take some glucose on now. Um, hopefully that will help stop the drop. Um, about another 10 minutes, I'll eat that energy bar, and then the race will be starting. A 
that's it. Final race of the year done. Um, 10 miles we did there. We got a medal. Not the world's best medal, to be fair. All medals count, though. They're all good. Um, from a personal point of view, I was well happy with that today. That was probably the hilliest 10 miles I've ever run, ever. And I got round there in one hour, 19 minutes and 47 seconds, which is all a PB for me. I'm well happy with that. Um, that was a hilly course as well. About six miles in, there was a hill which went on and on and on. Uh, my pace went from sort of 7 minute 50 per mile to 9 minute 15 miles in there. Mainly because I had to walk up a hill. I never walk up hills, but that one beat me today. But after all said and done there, I still managed to put in a PB, so I'm well happy with that. Um, blood sugar wise, as you see in that last video, my blood started to drop quite dramatically before that run, which was annoying. Uh, landed out dropping down as low as 5.2. Um, I had to take glucose on at that point, that was in the starting pen. I couldn't couldn't risk them going down lower than that before the start of the run. So I just whacked the glucose in and then just cracked on with the run. I just run that. If I'd gone too low, Dexcom would have alarmed me a bit. I got to four, four and a half miles in, took an energy gel just because I was feeling I needed some energy and I knew there was a big hill coming up at six miles. So I took an energy gel there, got to that hill at six miles, run a fair bit of it, and then just went around the corner and it went up and up, and I was like, oh, I'm walking, I can't be doing that. So I walked up that hill and then really put the hammer down then, once we got to seven miles down, three miles to go, so only a park run left, put the hammer down, and I'm good for 25 minute park runs every week, so really put the hammer down at that point, aiming for a PB, but somehow managed to pull it off, which amazed me. At the end of it all, as you can see, always happens the end of a run 9.3 my blood sugars are now spiking and um yeah it's always happens at the end of a run i've taken three units of insulin getting it's hopefully stop that spike going too high it's just something that does happen with me um uh, right more so with races i think the adrenaline and all that it just spikes me at the end of every single race i do even part run as you see in the video yesterday it spikes me so it's just part and parcel of running and making diabetes run with me really. Just take the insulin, get that spike flattened out a bit and yeah, see how we go.